Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, last night my video malfunctioned because uh, on the old computer. So I wanted to give you a visual of uh, last night's lesson about uh, El Iqlab. El Iqlab. So we've been studying in the level three class Ahkam Noon al Sakina with Tanween. Ahkam Noon al Sakina with Tanween. So these are the rules of um, silent noon and Tanween. And uh, what we do, depending on the letter that comes after silent noon, or the letter, the harf that comes after uh, ba'da at tanween. So <clears throat> we uh, talked about the four rules in a general sense, right? And then we are now focusing on one of the the hukum, one of the ahkam, which is uh, al iqlab Al-Iqlab. So I was telling you, this is the book that I was telling you about. And this book, actually, this is not the only cover for this book because I had another copy of it that had an orange cover. But um, it's called Al-Malakhas Al-Mufid Fi Ilm al tajweed And it's uh, by, it's well, it's an explanation that's written by a scholar of uh, Tajweed of Quran who uh, was teaching in the Prophet's Mosque, Al Masjid Al Nabawi in Medina, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And uh, so this book is an explanation of a, of a smaller uh, metan. Actually, he says it's two of, of them. Okay, so it's metan Tuhfat al Atfal and metan Al Jazariya. And you might have heard the name Al Jazariya. Uh, I know it sounds similar to Al Ajrumiya. Al Ajrumiya is um, a poem about Arabic grammar, Al Jazariya is a poem about Tajweed of the Quran. So <clears throat> he's just um, explaining that the rules that are in that uh, poetry and giving a lot of examples. So this is what I like about this book. There's a lot of examples in it. And um, so what he says about Al Iqlab, which we took last night. Okay, the we just mentioned the um the linguistic meaning al iqlab lugatan tahwilu shay'in an wad'ihi al tabi'i like you're changing something from its um natural face or from from how it should naturally be, right? So I gave you the example of qallib like if I um let's say um if I'm cooking something in a pot, some food in a pot we say in Arabic, قلبي, قلبي, like mix it up, mix it up in the pot. Okay, so that's a linguistic meaning. But istilahan, istilahan, meaning the meaning in the, the knowledge. Okay, we have a language meaning and istilahan, a meaning that is in the knowledge of this word, a meaning of this word that has to do with the knowledge. All right, so the meaning from the science of Tajweed is قلب النون الساكنة turning silent noon قلب النون الساكنة أو التنوين or تنوين ميما so you're turning it into you're turning the um, noon ساكنة or تنوين into a meme into a meme uh, in the الباء when you see a باء so whenever you see noon sakina followed by bat or tanween followed by bat, whether it's fathatan, kasratan, or dhammatan, if it's followed by a bat, we'll make a club. So he's saying that we're going to create the sound of a meme. But while we're still doing two things, ma'amara'a, <clears throat> so we're gonna make this sound of a meme mm, on the lips, but we're gonna keep the gunna and we're gonna keep the ikhfa. So we're gonna keep hiding the sound of noon. All right. So some of the examples that we had, for example, was in Surah Al-Balad. <clears throat> Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا أقسم بهذا البلد وأنت حل بهذا البلد 
وأن تحل بهذا البلد حل ب حل ب Okay, so what did I do? You saw what I did. You saw what happened between my lips and my nose. Hilumbi. So I didn't like hilum. Not not mashing it together, but just as a slight opening. There's still a slight opening. Hilumbi. Hilumbi. Okay, so the other examples um, that we looked at uh, were in, let's, okay, Surah so Al-Tariq. Wasamai wa tariq And the ayah, which ayah did we say? Okay, ayah seven. And ayah to sabi'ah. Yakhruju min bayin sulbi. Yahruju min sulbi. Yahruju min sulbi. Yahruju min sulbi. Uh, the other example, the next example is in Surah to Taqweer. At Taqweer. Which ayah was that? Wait a minute. Which ayah was that? Hold on, I'm going to pause while I find it. Okay, yeah. It's ayah, uh, al ayah to te se'ah. Al ayah to te ninth ayah. Bi ayyi dhan bin qutilat. Bi ayy, bi kasra. Bi ayyi dhan bin qutilat. Be a yidambiankutilat. So you see what happened with my nose. I kept the gunna. Gunna's two. Vibration. Vibration in the khayshum. Uh, Holding for two. Gunna. I keep gunna. And on my lips, I keep what? Ikhfa. I'm keeping ikhfa. Ikhfa hiding the sound of noon. Right? Uh, and just slightly, I'm giving the meme. I'm giving the meme, but my, my lips are still slightly open. Be a Okay, and the other example we have, oh, yes. Suratu Abasa. Abasa wa tawalla. Um, the ayah was, uh, okay, is in the word, all right, this is in one word also, because sometimes, I'm, I didn't mention, sometimes it's coming between two words, between two words, and sometimes in one word. Okay, I'll go back and talk about that. All right, so uh, in Abasa, the example is, um, in Ayah 27 فَأَنْبَتْنَا فِيهَا فَأَنْبَتْنَا فِيهَا فَأَنْبَتْنَا فِيهَا Yeah. All right. So, yeah. So, we have four examples there then. In Abasa, with Taqweer, 
والطارق والبلد and okay so in surat al-balad <coughs> let's go back now the surat, in surat al-balad you see in ayah 2 and ayah of thania you see we're having the ikla between two words bayna kalimataini bayna kalimataini hillun is a word and then b hadha okay then uh, in um, in um a taqweer a taqweer in one word the ninth ayah al ayat tasia bi ayy dham bin so in one word nun sakina ba'daha ba remember we learned how to say the hukum too nun sakina ba'daha ba hukmuha al iqlab نون ساكنة بعدها باء حكمها الإقلاب. Alright, so in البلد we would say sorry, yeah, let's say the حكم. Let's say, let's say it, okay? Uh, سورة البلد <coughs> is a uh, sorry, take it back and forth here. Uh, تنوين, right? On the lamb, تنوين بعده باء حكمه الإقلاب التنوين بعده باء حكمه الإقلاب تكوير oh, did I already say تكوير no uh, I'm sorry عبسة okay عبسة in that آية that 27th آية فأنبتنا so um is what noon sakina noon sa see when we say the hukam what we're doing is we're mentioning what we see so we see noon sakina badaha ba hukmuha al iqlab and then oh it's sort of the tariq يخرج من بين الصلب. Okay, again between two words. Yeah, بين كلمتين. من and بين. Okay, so نون ساكنة. بعدها با. حكمها الإقلاب. This is just this is the way how he teaches us in this book. He teaches us to say the حكم. And we had some examples. I gave you some examples from Surat al-Baqarah, from Surat al-Muzammil, from Surat al-Namal, all the examples that he has here. I, I gave uh, you, I think, five of those. So that was the homework, inshallah. And see you in al-Hissat al-Qadimah, the next lesson, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.